Hi, Jeff Katroop from Stratocast, a division of Frost and Sullivan. We're here at IBM Pulse 2011, and Nigel Fortledge of GHY International. You know, some of the exciting themes this week and some of the things that we look to analyze in our firm and the companies that we're out talking to every day are issues of complexity, issues of lack of integrated systems, and uh, we're talking about also, though, on the flip side, the opportunity to for IT to serve as an enterprise service provider, but you've got to overcome those challenges first. So I guess what I'd like to do is, from your perspective as a customer, I understand you're implementing Systems Director right now. You're in the process, right? That is correct, yes. Okay, great. Well, talk a little bit with me sort of at the CIO level about the important factors. Well, first of all, let's, let's mm -hmm. take a step back. Talk to me about what you've been doing up to now <laughs> Well, <laughs> to try to manage on a systems management uh, basis. Uh, systems management, uh, really relates back to the, the way the infrastructure is set up. Uh, so if you have a series of islands, then you have to manage a bunch of islands. Uh, the more that you look at consolidation, virtualization, and other technologies which are much more prevalent, then you, need, then you start to evolve your thought process to say, can I manage them from a central point of view? Can I manage them as a consolidated point of view? And that's really where we're coming from today because we've started this journey back in 2003 and been working through an evolution, and now we're at the point of saying, how can we improve the management, not just the running of the environment? Great, so you you know, I almost I always like to say, whether it's a system or a network or whatever, if, you, if you're not gonna manage it well, maybe you just shouldn't deploy it. <laughs> so that's Absolutely. kind of the point where you're at. Yes. Well, talk to me about some of the decision making then, as I alluded to a minute ago, but we'll, we'll go back to that. Uh, the, le the decision making that led you to choose systems director versus whatever, you know, out, what else is out on the market and kind of how it looks like it's going to meet your needs. Right. Well, I mean, you know, the system director product had three particular product grouping offerings. Yep. Uh, for us, we went with the standard, the kind of middle of the road. Okay. And the real reason was is that we wanted to get a handle on, on three very critical elements that I think affect every business. The idea of power consumption, or the lack of power, so managing power, heating and cooling. So the, those, those core elements that are not specific to IT, more, you know, a lot of people have them under a facilities budget, That's cetera. facilities management, exactly, exactly, I was gonna say. So for us, they're not part of facilities, they're part of IT. And the idea is, how can we do it better? So as we have dealt with uh, the evolution of our technology, the idea was, well, how are we doing better? Now, at the end of the day, our focus was, um, you know, why would we go into this? Because we are in a leased office tower, the power is actually included in the cost of the lease, so I have no cost reason, you would think, to drive, why would I want to manage this? Wow, okay. For us, it came down to a couple of issues. Number one is, we obviously don't want to grow the amount of square footage that we're allocating to, if you will, caught, uh, hot and cold aisle kind of scenarios. So the idea is, well, how do we manage that? How do we know where we really are? so that we can ensure that we stay you know, much, uh, much better at what we're doing, and more importantly, look for new ways to improve it. Hmm. The other one was is that because the power is not directly involved, why would we care at all? Right. Now, I mean, I know a lot of my peers struggle with, depending upon where they're located, either the cost of power is exceeding the cost of IT operations from a facilities perspective, or they can no longer get another watt of power if their manufacturing facility needed it. Uh, okay. I happen to live in a geographic region which generates and exports power, so we're not looking at it. But if you turn and say, okay, I have constituents, both my internal and external customers. The organization needs to show that we're being sustainable in the way we go forward. It's one thing to say, you know, we've bought, you know, great product that is energy efficient. Right. Prove it. Right. So my internal customers are demanding hey, we work for you as this organization, prove we're being more green, that we're having less impact on the organization. I need to quantify that. Right. But there's another side that says, you know, you can do that and you can take that same message to obviously your customer base. But what if you managed it and knew you were managing it and can prove you're managing it? Could I go back to my landlord and say, I'm being a great tenant, look at what I'm doing to improve my footprint, ah. and can I get some lease holdbacks or some some improvements because of that. So that's where we're coming from is to say, we have to measure and support our ability to be sustainable to both our internal and external customers. We have to manage the space we have so that we don't grow it. We've done lots of efforts to manage the infrastructure. Right. Now we gotta make sure we're really leveraging all of that. 
and ultimately, are there new avenues to consider of using these tools to in fact go outside the box and say, could I do something else with it? Wow. And so that's where we're coming from. I, I love I, I can't think of a stronger example, and I, I was not aware of that, that you were leasing the space. So you're from an area that's exporting energy, and you're leasing your space, and yet you're taking a serious approach to energy management. I mean, right. I can't think of a better statement than that, <laughs> and I did not know that. That was great.